Outcast is abusing us as they are on their way. Neil deGrasse Tyson hollers out, demanding the most baffling and miserable revelation made by the Traveler in recent years. A disclosure that researchers were not the littlest piece ready for since the Traveler sent back this upsetting information from space. Experts have been unable to rest, and everybody is strolling around a focused climate. Specialists, investigators, and Neil deGrasse Tyson modelers have been from their stations to battle these clandestine objects that Explorer just spotted. We know practically nothing about where these astounding things are coming from or where they are going, yet what we ought to have confidence about is that we have seen not at all like them beforehand. What are these confusing things that were as of late found by Voyager 1? Join us today as we take apart these responses in Neil deGrasse Tyson's Voyager 1, which has identified 500 dim articles passing by in space for nearly 50 years. Voyager 1 has been cruising through the roads of space, investigating the huge spaces that ground-based telescopes have been denied from seeing and uncovering exposures that leave our mouths absolutely open in shock, on account of virtuoso characters that stream in flood at the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory. Voyager 1 has been the marvelous center of the new region of intergalactic space. This engineering masterpiece has stirred us to the superb wonders that exist in our universe. In another headway, Neil deGrasse Tyson has affirmed that Voyager has seen 500 dim items floating peacefully in space. This news came as a shock to standard experts, shaking them as everybody started poring over the information collected by Voyager 1. Something odd was aging not too far off, and it was trying to settle this foaming inquiry that had staggered, indeed, even the greatest of researchers since Neil deGrasse Tyson confirmed this exposure. Various interpretations have been flying in the air, attempting to draw a specific picture that makes sense of the secret. Had it been another rocket that conveyed the kind of stupefying information that was as of late sent from space, examiners might have investigated the authenticity of the data. At any rate, it is Voyager 1 we are discussing here, the space test that has been cruising through the monstrous methods of space for just about 50 years now and has beaten our suspicions like a patient who beats sickness. Voyager 1 has beaten researchers' expected future of three years to spend over 45 years in space, uncovering history-making disclosures. In the meantime, the most interesting part about this famous story is that Voyager is forming this accomplishment story from an exceptionally far distance from Earth. The last time experts checked, they saw that the space test was 14.5 billion miles from our planet, running unendingly in space with no sign that it would diminish its speed any time in the not-so-distant future. Scientists say that the space test has been going at a rate similar to the distance between the Earth and the Sun each year. This is one reality that experts have found somewhat challenging to accept, given that consistently one would have expected the space test speed to have declined significantly, given the longevity of its mission in space. Subsequent to investigating it further, it appears Voyager 1 will undoubtedly be the extraordinary case as to this story, and it has shown confirmation of this again with its most recent revelations. It was actually similar to any other day for experts when Voyager 1 conveyed stimulating news that would stick in their memories for quite a while. Voyager 1 had incidentally discovered some uncommon things passing by in space. This disclosure was alarming, which makes sense of the underlying confusion among cosmologists when they examined information showing that around 500 dim articles had appeared from nowhere in a concise second. We went from having no data on these things to experts breaking their scholarly ability looking for answers to this puzzle that nature had put on their laps. Experts were in a fix, and the shortcoming could be traced to just a single obligated party, Voyager 1. Out of nowhere, experts knew that the response for loosening up the mystery likewise lay on the weighty shoulders of the space test. From the beginning, when knowledge about this disclosure broke out, a couple of subject matter experts considered the state of affairs possible, that it might have been a mix-up. They believed that Voyager might have been erroneously tracking something and thus may have been sending erroneous information back to us. If we choose to follow this unfurling path, it seems a possible explanation given that Voyager 1 was shipped off as far back as 1977, practically 50 long years of dynamic assistance for humankind. One could guess that the test computers would have become depleted and started to break down, fumbling in their obligations and sending back low-quality data to the ground team. As connecting as this circumstance sounds, experts have prompted that we shouldn't settle there, as it would be a slap to the propitiatory soul of the Voyager. Notwithstanding the awful and unusual climate of space, 
Voyager 1 has reliably produced splendid information about our universe in protection from the hurried suspicions of skeptics. The space test has maintained its long life due to its double redundant computer systems. Like its twin, Voyager 2, Voyager 1 came outfitted with two arrangements of command subsystems, flight data systems, FDS, and attitude and articulation control systems, ACS. This has been the secret power behind the rocket's intents, engaging soul with respect to exploring through space and revealing revelations. The unmistakable overt repetitiveness took into account steady exchanging among frameworks and the capacity to activate lethargic computer parts, subsequently safeguarding their life expectancy. While arranging Voyager 1, the engineers on Earth considered an arrangement to further develop the space contraption's efficiency. This meant that the test's instruments relied upon improved systems as they were obliged by time necessities and power spending plan requirements. Electrical designers presumed that the instruments needed to be developed utilizing simplified systems. Consequently, Voyager's computer systems contain power. Management, six onboard computers integrated as a distributed system with three double redundant pairs. Having beaten this impediment, experts faced the following difficult task. Maintaining the systems. This overwhelming level was vanquished by creating a consistent power management plan. Here's where it gets a little interesting. Power management included supporting the functional components of Voyager's computer systems. And to be straightforward, this is a troublesome errand given the limited power resources available on board the space device. It was an instance of sending a tracker into the deep wild to chase wild creatures with simply a handful of tools. Researchers found a procedure to get around this issue by considering a couple of measures to monitor and advance power utilization on board the Voyager. A genuine illustration of these power management measures that specialists invented is the fundamental shutdown of non-essential systems. Experts had to make this difficult choice and utilized an exact way to deal with identify and deactivate parts or subsystems that are not critical for the transport's primary mission objectives. We see evidence of this when we check radiators that are connected with specific instruments that must be turned off. These radiators were initially designed to keep up with the instruments at specific temperatures for ideal performance. In any case, the story had to be re-examined by activating them only when necessary since it significantly reduced power utilization on board the rocket. This decline in the rocket's power use has a ripple effect. It extends the test's lifespan. This is a mutually beneficial arrangement for everyone. In like manner, we ought to remember that the choice to shut down minor systems isn't trifled with. Such an organized activity requires cautious thought of the trade-offs between power conservation and the scientific objectives of the bus. Whenever such a choice was made, all hands must be on deck, ready. Experts needed to gather and assess the effect of deactivating specific systems on the quality and accessibility of scientific data. Feelings were not directing. Everything without a doubt revolved around the facts reachable. The group was driven by the desire to maximize power efficiency while maintaining the essential functionality of the rocket so it could continue to gather significant information about our universe undisturbed. Engineers and experts alike maintained that nothing ought to prevent Voyager 1 from uncovering the significant mysteries locked away in the mysterious regions of space. Mysteries that the universe has been keeping from us for a really long time. Specific power reduction isn't the only way that NASA specialists are keeping the Voyager above water and working optimally in space. They had one more huge advantage up their sleeves, which they expected to offer that sound supportive to help the rocket. The prepared experts expected to devise power management procedures that are adjusted to the ever-changing states of the transport's ongoing environment. For instance, as Voyager 1 ventures farther away from the sun, the available solar energy undergoes a drop. We would agree that this is an issue, but the experts came prepared. They made up for this developing threat by ensuring that the space contraption adjusted its power utilization accordingly. This flexible approach is a success for NASA engineers and examiners, as it ensures that the available power resources are proficiently allocated to support the test's critical assignments and data transmission back to Earth. The uplifting news doesn't end here. There have been steady technical advancements and updates in power management, which have permitted engineers to refine and streamline the space device's power system throughout the years. A close look at these updates reveals that they include more efficient power delivery, improved battery charging methodologies, 
and advancements in power regulation and control. The execution of a completely analyzed and planned power management system has opened an intriguing door for engineers. It has made it feasible for them to extend the operational lifespan of Voyager 1 alongside its twin, Voyager 2. This is a critical achievement for standard subject matter experts and the world at large. The cautious undertaking and management of power resources have equipped Voyager 1 with the necessary strength to explore the depths of the universe. The disclosure reverberated through the halls of scientific inquiry with seismic power. Neil deGrasse Tyson's sincere declaration resonated across the globe, focusing on decades of meticulous assessment by Voyager 1 in the vast expanse of interstellar space. The van head unexpectedly viewed as an inconsistency. 500 muddling components, their origins and purposes cloaked in huge mystery, exploring discreetly through the void. This astonishing experience started an out-of-control situation of logical inquiry. Researchers and scientists worldwide began a concerted effort to figure out these baffling articles, attempting to interpret their origins and purposes. The uncommon revelation by Voyager 1 opened a new chapter in space exploration, testing existing theories and pushing new perspectives on grand anomalies. The continuous assessment of this information vows to stretch the boundaries of our knowledge, perhaps uncovering new insights into the nature of the universe and our place within it. As we dig further into the mystery, the ultimate objective remains to uncover the truth behind these dim components and their effect on how we might interpret space. As analysts continue to delve into the mystery of the 500 dim articles identified by Voyager 1, the extent of investigation has expanded significantly. The initial data gathered by the transport has already led to several fascinating hypotheses. One hypothesis suggests that these articles could be remnants of old galactic events, maybe flotsam and jetsam from detonated stars or disintegrated space rocks. On the other hand, they might be made of materials unknown to current science, hinting at novel structures of matter or even completely new physical peculiarities. Astrophysicists are utilizing advanced computer models to replicate the trajectories and potential origins of these articles. By examining their paths and speeds, investigators hope to determine whether they share a common source or whether they originated from different distinct events. This aspect of the study is pivotal for understanding the broader implications of the disclosure. For example, the possibility of previously inconspicuous astronomical cycles or interactions. Observatories all around the planet have been enlisted to help track these objects. Ground-based telescopes are being used to check and enhance the data returned by Voyager 1, providing a more extensive perspective on their properties. High-resolution imaging and spectral analysis are key pieces of this work, aiming to identify any chemical signatures or physical properties that could reveal more about their nature. Notwithstanding observational endeavors, Hypothetical physicists are examining the possible effect of these disclosures on how we might interpret fundamental physics. For instance, if the articles display unusual gravitational effects or electromagnetic properties, they could offer insights into theories of dark matter or dark energy. Such discoveries could change our grip of the universe's most perplexing parts. The revelation has likewise prodded interdisciplinary collaboration. Cosmologists, mathematicians, and even experts in material science are contributing their expertise to solve the mystery presented by these strange objects. This collaborative approach is encouraging a more holistic understanding of the data and ensuring that all potential angles are explored. Educational institutions and research centers are now incorporating this new cosmic mystery into their programs, using it as a tool to inspire the next generation of researchers. Public interest in space exploration has flooded, with many individuals eagerly following the progress of the investigation. This renewed interest in space science has prompted increased funding and support for space missions and research, reflecting the wide charm and significance of the disclosure. Moreover, the ramifications of the revelation extend beyond the realm of science. Assuming these items are found to have extraordinary properties or behaviors, they could have practical applications in technology and industry. For example, if the items contain novel materials with remarkable strength or conductivity, they might be utilized in cutting-edge manufacturing or electronics. As the investigation progresses, the scholarly community remains wary yet hopeful. 
the data returned by Voyager 1 is being thoroughly analyzed to preclude any irregularities or mistakes. Peer review and replication studies are fundamental to validating the findings and ensuring that the conclusions drawn are robust and reliable. In summary, the disclosure of 500 DIM items by Voyager 1 has opened a new frontier in space exploration. The continuous investigation concerning these secretive substances is poised to expand our knowledge of the universe, challenge existing theories, and potentially uncover significant revelations. The collaborative efforts of researchers worldwide highlight the importance of this finding and underscore the persevering mission for knowledge that drives space exploration. As we anticipate further disclosures, the energy and expectation surrounding this tremendous mystery continue to grow, promising new insights into the universe's most profound secrets.